Hi everybody, this is Catherine from In The Pink Designs. My project today, I know is a little bit early, it's a Christmas project, but this is from the new Stampin' Up! mini holiday catalog that's coming out in a little over two weeks on July 1st. All right, I'm using the Christmas Scotty stamp set, which is adorable, and the Scotty dog punch, and that punches out this dog and this right there. Alrighty. Um, I also used the Stylish Shapes dies and the Layering Circle dies, which are kind of staples of a lot of my things uh, that I make. I use the Stylish Shapes dies, Layering Circle dies, and Rectangle Stitch dies a lot. So those are three um, core products that I use in a lot of my videos. Alrighty. Um, this is a cute little wraparound box that measures, what did I put it here? It is. It measures three and a half by three by one and a half. And up here from tip to tip, it's four and a half. Okay. And I just punched a hole in the top and put some ribbon. And this would fit some small gifts, of course, some treats, but some makeup, lipstick, um, keychain. Any little gift, jewelry. Um, what we need for this project, it's not much. So we need a piece of DSP, and this is from the Gingham Cottage DSP. And I showed it on a haul I did about two or three videos ago. It's 48 pieces, so it covers a lot. There's pastels, there's um, bolds, there's it's all the, the spectrum. There's a lot you can use for Halloween, a lot you can use for Christmas, and a lot you can use for summertime too. Um, so this piece is nine and a half by three and a half. We need a piece of basic black that is four by two and a half, and this is the only thing we're going to be scoring. We need a basic black circle that is two and seven eighths. It's the scalloped one from the layering circle dies and a, a circle with the dots around it, which is from the Stylish Shapes dies, which is two and five eighths. All right. Okay, we also need some basic white card stock, which I have a new pack. There we go. Okay, so first we're just going to do our scoring. And that is on our basic black piece of paper, a card stock, sorry that is four by two and a half and all we're going to do on this is score all around at one half inch so we're going to go one half inch turn it a quarter turn one half quarter turn one half and another quarter turn okay and i'm going to fold and burnish Okay, now all we're going to do is we're going to start on the lower left and we're going to go to the first score line, cut it straight to the first score line, and then wedge each side of the square. Okay, then we're going to turn a quarter turn, just about the same as we did, just about the same as we did when we scored it. Quarter turn. Same exact thing on all four corners. And the last quarter turn. Okay, so this is what your cardstock should look like after you've done scoring it and cutting it. Okay, now we're going to take tear and tape and we're going to put it on all of these little tabs. I'm going to take the backings off. Okay, and we're just going to attach them to the rectangle next to it, the side of the rectangle with the top score line of the tab. And just do that all around. There we go. It's a little little tray. Okay, 
Now we have our piece of Gingham Cottage Designer Series paper that is nine and a half by three and a half. And we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna put at the bottom tear and tape right up against the edge as close as you can get it. Okay, and then against the side also, one side. Okay, and we're just going to take the backings off. Okay, I put it on the wrong way, so make sure you don't do what I did. You want to start in the back, or it doesn't matter, one of the sides, and you want the piece of tear and tape that it goes up the side to be over here. You don't want to start with that piece. So we're going to put it onto the tray and I leave about an, a sixteenth of an inch showing. I just how that like how that looks and just bend it around the corners. You don't want to have it bend all the way up though if you can help it. And if you don't want to, if it's too hard to leave the sixteenth of an inch it's okay. You can just say put it flush. But I, I like a little bit there to show a bottom. Okay, and then turn the corner and just kind of bend it just where the corner is and come around and then your tearing tape on the side is going to be up here. Come around that last corner and you join them and just run your finger up the back and you can stick your fingers down into the inside of the tray Oops. and just make sure it's all nicely adhered. Okay, and that's your basic box. Pretty much easier than I thought it was going to be, but it looks kind of daunting. All right, now we're done with this for now, and we're going to get our piece of basic white. We need two inks. We need basic black and real red. And we need a, a stamp and pierce mat because it is photopolymer. All right, so whoops, let's do the basic black first, and we're going to be using the the Scotty dog that's like sideways right here. Okay, I'm gonna get some, get it nicely inked up because it's kind of a solid. Okay, I just want to put it down. Let it sit a minute and then just gently pull it up. And there's your dog. Okay, so let's just cut him so we don't have to worry about where the bow is. All right, I'm just going to cut him up. And there we go. Okay, and now we'll just stamp our bow. I'm using this stamp, which is right here. And that is real red. Okay. Right, and then I'm, this is right up here, the bow. So I'm just going to stick the bow in there. And pop it out. And there's our puppy and our bow. Now we have to just do one more thing. The I want to get the inside of the collar here. They give you a little piece right up here for his collar. So I'm, I'm going to use the real red again. And if you if you don't have you can put the bow right over it if you don't want to have to do this or if you get it off a little bit. Yeah, which I did, but I'm going to just do it again. There you go. Okay, it's pretty forgiving because you don't really see it on the black if you get it wrong a little bit. All right, and then I'm just going to glue this bow on. And I put the bow just so that a little bit of the color shows in between the two side pieces of the bow. All right. And there's our bow. 
Okay. Now we're going to get our circles, the scallop circles of basic black, two and seven eighths, and the dotted circle is two and five eighths, and this is from Happy Forest Friends. I wanted to get something that was dots or something that was a different color, and this was what I found. I'm sure there's plenty of other papers, but this is the first thing I found. So I'm just going to attach them with liquid glue. And then I'm going to use dimensionals and mini dimensionals to attach my dog and my take your pick tool. I'm just going to pluck this one that's got no backing. I'm going to put that on the tail and I'm going to put one on each of the feet. And then I'll just put one on the head and then the body. And I'm just going to put him right in the middle here. Great. Okay. Before we put him on now, I'm just going to squeeze the top edges. You don't want it to go all the way down, but just the top edges so that I can get the middle together. And then I'm going to use a quarter inch, a quarter inch hole punch, which I really should get a better one because this one is just so heavy. And I'm going to go through both sides. All right. And then I'm going to get the black and white gingham ribbon. And this here is the real red faux linen ribbon. This is um, being retired, but it's available right now for $5 a roll still. And it's not on the low inventory list, so it'll I'm sure it'll be here for a little while. All right, I'm just going to put it through the holes from the back to the front, just because I still have them attached to the rolls. Makes it easier. Okay. And I'm just going to tie a knot. Put your things in, of course. And then I'm just going to tie a bow on the top. Now, I didn't put the decoration on the front, the puppy on the front yet, because depends on how low you put your, you punch your hole. I only put it about a quarter inch down from the top, but whatever you like, if I could get this. Okay, I'm just going to clip them off. some more dimensionals and um, because it's kind of um, curved a little bit I'm gonna put four of them on okay I'm just gonna center him on the front however it looks right And you can poke your finger in one of the sides to really press them good. Okay, and if you don't want to do two ribbons, you can do just one. And for the final touch, I'm going to take an iridescent rhinestone basic jewel. And they are, I'm going to put a medium size one right in the middle of the bow. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. All the measurements will be on my blog, which is linked below. The link to join Stampin' Up! is down there. Also, the link to purchase Stampin' Up! products. These products will be available on J July 1st. Okay, and there is um, 
If you wanted to join Stampin' Up! after July 1st, there is a, a bonus planner. It's a $50 planner that you can get if you extra on top of the $125 worth of product for $99. Um, so if you were interested in joining, I would wait till July 1st or after. All right. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload a video. And have a great weekend, and I will see you next time. Bye.